Do you guys remember the video I did not too long ago where I asked and kind of did some tests? Can you actually burn your healthy hair using a heat tool at the highest temperature? And if you can, how long will it take? And the number one question out of the entire video was what happens when you use a heat protectant? So Andre and I have been very curious these past couple of months and we've been doing some testing and I have been using real hair extensions and yes, they are real hair. A lot of you speculated that they are not real, they're synthetic and I'm actually going to show you guys a comparison of real human hair versus synthetic from a wig, how it melts and how you can tell that it's real or not. But besides that, in today's video, I'm going to see if a heat protectant actually works when using a heat tool on your hair <laughs> actually actually <laughs> because i'm oscar martinez from the office actually to make this even more interesting we compared three different hair types my hair burned roughly around 53 seconds at 600 degrees fahrenheit then we took the real human hair extensions and that burned roughly around 35 seconds at 600 degrees fahrenheit and then we took the synthetic wig and that burned roughly at three to four seconds at 600 degrees fahrenheit so you can see the different ranges to where the hair burns and we did check to see why the hair extensions burned a little bit faster than my hair my hair is a little bit thicker than the hair extensions if that's even possible because my hair is very fine so I'm feeling pretty good about my hair. <laughs> so let's move on and see what happens with the heat protectant. We have tested four different types of heat protectants that vary in different heat ranges to what they protect up to. And usually protectants or heat protectants are made up out of either silicone or polyurethane. This one has both. So it's basically a coat that covers your hair or extra protection of layer. I'm just gonna brush it out to make sure all of the hair gets the heat protectant. How long does it take to burn hair with heat protectant? Put your answers down below or your guesses. What burns first? So in this video, I am not gonna be burning my hair anymore just because I love my hair and my hair is amazing and I want to keep it for as long as possible. So we're going to stick with the real human hair extensions in this video, just like the previous one. So let's jump in and see what the heat protectant actually does. All right, so you guys can see on the right side, this is a sample with the heat protectant that I mentioned. And then the left side, this is a sample without any heat protectant. So let's see, we're going to put them both at 600 degrees Fahrenheit just because we don't want to be sitting here for hours. <laughs> and we're going to see what burns faster or if they burn at the same rate. So now that we got that out of the way, who's surprised? <laughs> Who thought that the heat protectant would actually work or what they claim to do, protect your hair against the heat? Yeah, I was shocked. We've been doing these tests for a little bit of time before this video even, and we, every single time we put heat protectant on a hair or the hair, it would burn faster than the hair without any product in it. And we did let it dry, we let it do its thing, we made sure it coated all the hair, we made sure to, spread it into the hair with a comb or a brush just like the professionals so do and yeah we were surprised we were shocked and this is why i wanted to make this video to kind of put it out there and 
to see what you guys think as well. What are your conclusions? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? What is going on? That's what my question and concern is. Why are we even using heat protectant and what is it for? So a little bit more information. When we tested, we tested at 600 degrees Fahrenheit, 540 degrees Fahrenheit, 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And you guys will see the little graph right here that we created, how it looks and what happened. So at 450, we did not burn the hair through. It took hours to even see any breakage or anything like that. And then at 500, you could start seeing it around 10 minutes, something was happening. And around 540, it was around three minutes that we could actually see a lot of hair starting to break off. And then at 600 degrees, it took around 30 seconds to break the hair off completely. So our tests, correlate very similarly to a lot of sources online. So that's when we started doing a lot more research into what is a heat protectant? Why do we use heat protectants? Why are heat protectants sold? <laughs> and basically my conclusion is it's an oxymoron. Why? Because to style your hair with a heat tool, you need to reach a certain degrees to actually style it. Well, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. We were shocked. We were completely blown away as to what is happening. We did find sources that say the heat protectant also is a form of moisture. It holds in the moisture, it locks in the moisture, but then a lot of people like myself, I use oils. I take care of my hair with deep hydration masks. I use a leave-in conditioner. So then what is the point of a heat protectant? The oxymoron of this is the professionals tell us to put the heat protectant even I told you guys many times and now I take it all back because I am very skeptical to all of this now. And basically what they say is put the heat protectant on before you use any kind of heat tool on your hair to protect it, to add that layer of protection, that coating before you put the heat on your hair. But the thing is a lot of these and most of these, they burn well below the degrees that your hair starts burning at. The test showed that it doesn't work and we've done many tests. So that's kind of where I wanna leave it to you guys. Why use a heat protectant? Does it actually work? What do you guys think of this test? Because I, I was shocked, completely blown away and shocked. In conclusion, I am very skeptical and I will not be recommending any heat protectant to you guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video, spending time with both of us and I will see you in the next one. Bye.